Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today we're going to learn more on for loops, as promised, obviously. Now, as you can plainly see, I have maintained the same format as the previous tutorial, but today we're going to learn how to print the even numbers. Now, in order to print an even number, you need to know the logic behind it. First, you need to acquire how you get the even numbers. Now, the basic way to get it is the number divided by 2 if it gives you with no reminders at all mean with no reminder basically that is your even number means for example 2 divided by 2 will not give you any reminder it will give you 0 in a reminder if you divide 1 divided by 2 you will get something as a reminder right so that is the thing if you don't have a reminder that means that's your even number so we're going to apply the same logic over here we're going to use the for loop so we're going to do it for 5 numbers as we can plainly see starting from a zero goes up to five and every time the loop gets entered it would increment the value by one it's that simple so let's go ahead and write an if statement now you may be wondering if you can write an if statement or any other statement inside a loop well you can okay so let's say I've got an if statement and I wanna say that if the remainder is zero then that is the even number and that I want to print it so in order to explain that to the compiler you need to do the following if i is i mod this is the mod operator okay two it means for example whatever made the reminder that is a mod okay that's that simple if i mod two is equal equal to zero okay then that's the even number right so just print the i's print f okay the basic syntax percent i comma i now again if for example the first number that will enter over here is zero zero divided by two gives you a reminder no that it would print it one yes it gives you then it will not two it doesn't it's gonna go that way so if i run the program you will see that it prints zero two and four why it does that because i've entered like five numbers right that it gets inside the loop and would check each of them numbers each number for example it will start with zero and it, it will end up to five it will say is zero mod two does it contains any reminder no it doesn't then print the value alright it will print the value of this i so if i over here is zero it would print zero over here if i is over here two it would print two over here means whenever the condition is true that particular variable will be printed that is a little confusing from the beginners even I found it really confusing in the starting but if you just do like a five or six simple programs practice you will get it it's really that simple so let's say I want to print odd numbers and now that means logic one right in programming there are only two logics zero and one basically in any digital circuit there's only two logics zero and one now one means it's not going to be equal to mod zero means it's gonna have something so it will print the odd numbers if you just see one three and five from zero to five all the odd numbers it's really that simple if i change this number let's say to ten it would print from zero to ten all the odd numbers that they have it from zero to ten one three five seven nine really simple now if you want to really understand the concept behind for loop there's a program that is used by every beginner alright which is by the printing stars which is basically they print a star by the, that's the way you do it means I'm gonna give you an example directly over here now you'll see that printf print a star that's it so since it's from 0 to 10 it should print stars 11 times including the zero obviously zero till ten zero one two and we we'll go up to ten this is a way to learn the for loop which is used by i think so the every single program in this world so this is the way you learn it the for loop and if once you go into like two for loops in a single means having two for loops one for loop inside another you will see that this thing gets a little bit more complicated than you think so anyway this is the channel to chaos i hope you like this video rate comment subscribe Thank you very much.